Here's the ditch that I started digging by hand. See, it's moving a lot of water. Got some little maple trees I gotta kill too. This will be made wider in the end, something I can mow within and around, sort of a V shape instead of such a harsh dugout contour. This is where all the water from the house and thereafter the garden is coming from. Big old weed there. Uh, here you can see some rapids. All gravity fed, of course. Okay, getting near the garden now. Here is my uh, makeshift lock system. Raising and lowering this raises and lowers the level of water in the garden. This is how much water is pouring into the pond in the garden right now uh, from the downspouts, uh, the driveway, uh, subsequently the sump pump in the garage. It's kind of peaceful to listen to. As we come up here, you can follow the tube up to a dam. All you see is water. Behind that, see the pool of water. To the left is a row of cucumbers along a fence. My hope is they grow up the fence more than in the garden, but uh, water this high is going to be kind of a rare thing, especially this summer. You can see it's up that way between every row. Cannot go any higher. Uh, the reason it can't go any higher is because gravity will feed it over this little earthen open uh, well, a runoff, if you will, that should allow water to go down to the ditch and out to the street, uh, even if uh, this thing is too high or not enough water can get through that. Uh, so the most that you could possibly have is another inch of water in here, and you can see there's more than ample clearance. Potatoes are looking pretty good. We'll follow the water on up. Here's the corn. Water's uh, pretty deep through here. Got to not drop my phone. That would make a really good day bad. I say really good day because we haven't had a significant rain here really in, uh, oh, close to uh, three weeks, four weeks. And the garden really needs it. Okay, I'm going to trek through some mud here. The uh, beans are coming up. I've got some uh, weeding to do. Now that the seeds have sprung, I can uh, uh, put some preen down. That'll prevent anything else from uh, growing. You see a little bit of water here through little channels I've made. The reason I have raised beds, some people wonder what's the advantage of raised beds. Well, one of the advantages of raised beds is having your crops not get waterlogged. This is a very swampy lawn and it tends to hold a lot of water. And I decided to go ahead and put that to use instead of letting it be a hindrance to me having a garden. Uh, these roots, these are only six inch tall boxes. The roots will typically penetrate the ground up to a feet, or up to a foot rather. Uh, so basically what will happen is the roots go down, uh, start tapping into the natural well, water table, if you will, down beneath the box. However, enough oxygen gets to the roots up above uh, just by virtue of the fact that most of the roots are above the water level of the water table. Strawberries, strawberries, onions, carrots at the end, uh, tomatoes, tomatoes, peppers, herbs, and uh, Chelsea and Chloe's uh, little salsa garden. Uh, I will have tomato cages that I build here shortly and I'll have pictures of those up. This bed is the one I didn't have a chance to plant. That's a lima bean fence. You can see the little beans there. Now to follow the water back to where I was, just a quick look. This is what I call hugel culture, or uh, what they call hugel culture. Uh, basically, you dig a, uh, a channel out, you put logs in it, and then you fill it with compost on top. Uh, this will eventually form a big compost bin like that, and I'll plant directly into it. Uh, should allow uh, a lot of nutrients and uh, good soil in this spot, in this hill, for uh, decades. 
Okay, the pipe runs underneath the ground here where it came out a little bit earlier. Probably heard the frog chirp there. Um, you can see the irrigation pond here. Now there's the outlet pipe. Water can only go yay high before it uh, goes shooting through that. Uh, I've got sort of a, an overflow system right here where it should take it down to there if, uh, if there's a breach or somehow the water comes in too fast. I don't know how it could though because it's only two four inches uh, feeding it. One six uh, moves more water than two fours. Uh, added in the little bit of runoff that you get here, I still think it would just take a torrential, torrential uh, rain to uh, flood this. Uh, that is to uh, keep algae down, though uh, obviously not an issue when uh, the water's like this. Now, to follow the water back up. Got it some extension cords. Uh, that will be buried in time. Uh, I'm working on a permanent solution for electricity. Uh, that's to run the, uh, the irrigation pump and the fountain pump. To the right, it runs to the downspout. Comes off the south side of the house. Over here, runs to the uh, downspout on the north side of the house. And we'll see where that connects up. This is the other end of the tube. Well, or the middle of the tube that we just saw on the inlet side. Comes down, captures all the rainwater out of the gutters. I need to add more soil to this. It's kind of washed out over the years. Uh, that pipe is buried. And it comes out here to the, uh, the sump pump. Now, yeah, it's kind of hard to see this here because of the hosta. That's kind of by design in a rose. Uh, the sump pump in the garage has a uh, sump pit that captures all the water that uh, runs off and uh, shoots it out of this pipe. Uh, that pump can move when it's going full speed, can move up to 5,000 gallons an hour. And I've already seen it run full time, uh, non-stop, about 15 minutes uh, at maximum flow along with the gutters. Still hasn't flooded the pond, that's the good news. As we go around, my porch has a downspout, and that runs into it too. Come down the sidewalk here, get a kind of a panorama of the, uh, the front flower bed. I've got a weird shaped driveway in the uh, water from all this sloped part goes down into the bottom and gets captured and the storm grates down here at the bottom that runs down into this and this which get pumped out of that PVC pipe that I just showed you a bit ago and for perspective when we come back up here the uh, furthest tree that's in front of the white mailbox there that's where the initial pipe was that I showed you. So the water basically starts here at the house in the driveway, goes through the pond, and uh, ultimately out to the street. And I just took uh, about an inch of rain in about 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, which is an incredible rainfall rate, all as well. Hopefully it'll stay that way.